Hey guys, here we are. Summer is over and we're about to start seeing some cold days coming up. And I believe there are 10 things you should do before the cold season gets here. These may vary a little bit based on what part of the country you're in, but do these 10 things before the cold season gets here. Number one, make sure you are replacing your air filter. And I know everybody says, I replace it every 30 days. That's what I always hear. What I've found is a lot of homeowners don't replace them as often as they think they do. So definitely check those air filters, have them replaced. If you have washable ones, go ahead and get them washed. And before the cold snap gets here, go ahead and get that system ready. So that way you are ready for the winter time to get here. Number two, have a professional do a tune-up, a fall tune-up before the winter gets here. You may have had a spring tune-up done before the summer, but in some cases, fall tune-ups might be a little different. You should be getting that furnace, for example, ready for the winter now that it's gonna be burning and things like that. There are parts of that system that just simply have not been used in multiple months because you were running it in AC mode and now it's gonna be completely turning on different components for the first time in several months. And that leads me into my number three tip and that is having the heat exchanger checked before you turn that system on for the first time. So have a professional get in there, make sure the heat exchanger is okay, make sure it's not cracked, and make sure it's not compromised so that way when that system does turn on you don't have to worry about any safety issues when you start running your heat and then finally that brings me into my number four and that is making sure you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home before you go to sleep tonight if you have any fossil fuel burning appliances in your home i don't even care that it's not winter time yet if you have a fossil fuel burning appliance in your home don't go to sleep tonight without a carbon monoxide detector. I'll put a link to one down below, but you can get one from any of your local hardware stores and even usually Walmart and Target will have them. So make sure you have that. And if you do have one and it's been installed, make sure if it has batteries, you get those replaced as well. Number five, a lot of systems use your hot water in some way, shape or form to heat your home. So if that's the case, make sure you have your water heater flushed and tuned up by a pro if it is a tankless water heater or at least flushed if it's a tanked water heater. So that way you don't have any buildup or any sediment. You have pumps that'll turn on if it has that sort of capability and will pump that hot water through there providing you heat in your home and you wanna make sure all that is up to snuff before you turn that system on. Number six, Please be aware that if you do have some sort of elements or heat kit in that system, a lot of heat pump systems will have a backup electric heat. Just be aware there will be a burning odor. A lot of homeowners that are not used to that type of system for the first time when that system turns on will think something is super wrong. They'll smell a burning odor and think something is on fire. And there is something on fire. It's the dust that has collected on those heat strips. And a lot of times folks don't smell them until it gets super cold that first cold night and those heat strips kick on for just a moment and they'll smell that burning odor and it'll scare them. I tell most folks, go ahead and turn them on now. Let's go ahead and turn the emergency heat on. So that way when you smell that odor, you know exactly what it is and it's not scaring you in the future. Number seven, close your foundation vents. Go around your house. If you have a house with foundation vents, they've probably been open through the summertime or they should have been open through the summertime, allowing that home to breathe and inhibiting things like mold and mildew and the humidity, letting air circulate in the summertime. But now we don't want that cold air getting in, that dry cold air as wintertime gets here. So before you have that first cold night, as we get closer to wintertime, go ahead and get those foundation vents closed so you don't have any issues with plumbing getting frozen, burst water lines and things like that. Number eight, get that humidifier going. Get the humidifier pad replaced if it has one. Make sure you have it tuned up, cleaned up and get that humidifier ready to run so that way you are adding humidity to that air, making it safer to breathe through the winter months. And so instead of just getting your heating and air system going, you should also make sure you get that humidifier ready to run as well. Number nine, winterize your home if you're going to leave for any amount of time at the bare minimum go ahead and shut off the water to your home kill the breaker to the water heater and open your faucets to your home so that way 
you don't have any burst water lines while you're gone. But have a pro get in there if you don't know how to properly winterize your home, adding a little bit of antifreeze to certain components and shutting off the water to your home at the bare minimum will save you a lot of headaches in the future. And you may say, well, Josh, I'm not planning on turning off the heat to my home while I'm gone. And I think that's great. But if you're not going to have a house sitter or someone checking on the home periodically while you're gone, it is very possible that something go wrong and your heat stop working, causing more issues when a water line freezes and causes other issues as well. If you're gonna be gone for any amount of time, go ahead and winterize that home as if you weren't gonna have the heat running. And so that way you can at least, if nothing else, avoid a catastrophe instead of just getting home and having to have your heat fixed because it stopped working. And then finally, number 10, this might seem like a simple one, but before the winter season gets here, turn the system on, turn the heat on, go ahead and check the heat now before you get that first cold night and realize something is wrong go ahead and turn it on now see what's going on make sure that system is going to blow warm air and before it's too late go ahead and make sure everything is on the up and up let me know your thoughts did i miss a tip comment down below if you have something that you do every year before the winter season gets here i'd love to hear it thanks for watching hit that subscribe button we'll see you next time